What is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at fuchsia os or fuchsia os whatever you like you can call it but before we know what it looks like and how we can get it on our android device we are just going to discuss what actually it is so fuchsia os is also another os by google just like the android it might be also the successor in upcoming year something around 2020 i really don't know when it will be released but still we can expect around 2020 now if you have seen my past video on the selfish os of the redmi note 3 many of you guys doubted me that it's not a proper non android OS it still runs on Linux now the Fuchsia OS runs on the Google's all new Magenta kernel which has been been developed from like 2016 September but it didn't have any kind of interface so now what's the advantage of creating another OS when the Google actually has a Chrome OS and an Android OS now how the Fuchsia OS's apps are created is using by the Flutter SDK now Android has Android SDK also there was another SDK i forgot the name and Apple has its own Apple SDK and also i guess it's called Xcode if i am not wrong as the Apple's SDK all of the apps just look the same such as this phone app it looks the same all of the five items are at the bottom again if you hop on to any other app all of the things are at the bottom again if you go to the whatsapp all of the things are at the bottom also the fuchsia os is going to be created like this i know some of the people might hate that all of the apps just look the same only the colors are different but it actually helps improving the performance of the device in a huge margin cuz literally the apple pushes out update for a sdk and all of the apps are built onto that thing none of the apps are looking extremely different than their other apps such as for example if you go for the flip card on both of the devices it looks very different all of the things are at the top whereas on the bottom we have all of the navigations for the flip card on the iOS also if you go to the phone all of the apps look different now as you can see galaxy s8 plus took a whole another second in order to load the phone app now these are the flagship phones but if you have a mid ranger or a low ranger phone you can actually improve the device by using the fuchsia os with its flutter sdk if you don't already know the fuchsia os is all new magenta kernel it really sets it apart from the another os such as ubuntu still runs on linux linux runs on linux firefox os runs on linux but the all new fuchsia os runs on the all new magenta kernel which is not that different from linux kernel but still now how to get it right now the source code has been available for the developers but uh, all of us are not the developers we are not that smart of a mankind <laughs> compared to them but still you can just download this app called armadillo and this launcher is complete representation for the fuchsia os as you can see ever get your hands on the fuchsia os it's just like this it's a set of card you get a home button at the bottom so i guess if google ever releases any phone like this it might be like this galaxy s8 you can reach the bottom you also get your profile pic over here you can expand it then you get your controls such as sound your wifi battery life brightness your network right now all of these are in the demo mode so nothing really matters you can control airplane mode do not disturb mode auto rotation you can log out and touch for more more doesn't do anything right now you just get a set of cards just like the google now want to do multi window you still have the option you can just drag it and insert it in another app as you can see these are just the dummies so they don't display anything right now as you can see this is also a back button but it doesn't work right now you can tap anywhere at the navbar and you can just exit it you can also multitask up to four apps inside it as you can see third app but i don't know for some weird reason i am not able to do that there you go three you can also add one more app over there let's just do it just insert it and uh, okay it's a pretty sketchy really but as you can see three apps simultaneously it doesn't look bad on a 6.2 inch display but you also get ask for anything all new keyboard over here which doesn't look like an android one you can search for anything right now it just gives you some random shit dummy of what you can get with the fuchsia os i will leave a link in the description for this armadillo apk if you find this helpful please drop a like and see you in the next one peace